Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video and the next several videos, we're going to start talking about setting up your courses. And the very first thing we want to do when we're setting up our course is to set up our customer center page. Now we've all seen this page before. It's that ugly blue page with the magic link on it and all that. And probably most of you have come to hate that in one degree or another. But unfortunately right now it is a necessary item again the beginning of November. It is a necessary item for us to get set up. But before we go in there, let's go to our pages first and let's go to our theme pages where we have all of our templates. And in here I wanted to show you something that there is a little bit of hope on the horizon. They have this thing here, the member login template. And hopefully by the time you're watching these videos, um, they will have instituted this and I will have a video on it down below here. But if we click on this and open it in a new window, you see here something very similar to what we would have seen in ClickFunnels 1.0 on an access page. So right there, we know that eventually that this will be coming so that you can let people into a membership area based upon an access page like this, not necessarily sending them through that customer center page. And then also we want to come in here to the um, customer center itself and we'll click on the gear over here and open it up. And in here, of course, you can come in and set up your SEO metadata. But again, I'm not really sure, would you even want SEO metadata on a customer center page like this or not? If so, set it up here. You can have the search engines uh, find it or not. And then you can also select your image. And here's a URL. And again, um, setting up a style guide in here is going to be completely useless as well because there's only a very few things you can do to update it. But again, every single one of the templates has this in here so you can set up the base SEO for that template page. And some of these template pages you will actually be using in your funnels and in your courses and stuff like that. So, and so like I said, you can do that for all these pages. You got your courses lesson page down here, courses template page. I think that's the home page. We'll see that in the next set of videos, et cetera, et cetera. So now let's come over here and go to the customer center itself. And you're going to see right now what the template, because we haven't changed anything yet, what the template for the customer center page will look like. But if we come up here to the dashboard, we're going to see what the login page looks like. So we got two different pages here. We got where they're going to land and we got where they're going to log in. So let me just uh, take a look over here at um, this is the funnel builder program inside of ClickFunnels. And let me log back in real quick. And you saw right before that, that is the login page. And now here is the uh, customer center page. So let me log back out again. And so again, you see right here, this is the login page. And we're going to look at that inside of our account in a second. You can change the background coloration here. You can change where it says click funnels and you can change this image, but that's really all there is to it. So let me log back in. And this is the two CCX program. So this right here is your customer center page where these are the courses that I currently have available inside of my 2.0 account. And then if we wanted some products or something, we could put some products down here at the bottom. And then there's also a footer down here as well where you can have links to, as you can see here, they got 50 links to everywhere on the planet. So let's go back into our account. So again, here's our customer center page. And here is ClickFunnels customer center page. So ours again is just a template that we're going to work on. And then if you right click on dashboard here and you say open link in incognito window, you're going to see here our login page. That's the best way, easiest way I found in order to open this up. And right now we got a little image here and then we say here success path and then we have a gradient. And like I said, that's pretty much all you can change at this point. And that image, we actually set that up when we came over here and we set up our site, you can get into the site settings right there or by clicking on this gear. And we put this little image right there under the site header logo. And that's what showed up right there. And as far as the success path here, that gets pulled in from over here on the settings. We have our general right there. And that's what we put in right here was success path right there. So that's how we got the words success path there. So let's go back over here. Let's go back to customer center. 
And then here we can uh, click on the gear again for customer center. And a lot of these pages look alike and they kind of run together. And you're going to see here a bunch of things you can have people be able to see when they're inside their customer center. The thing is at this point, I have not actually seen an example of what this is or where it is or how it looks. So I really can't tell you where this shows up because again, if I go to my click funnels here, um, even if I click on account settings, uh, well, let me see, let's click on account settings and see what happens. And I have to log back in again. So that brings me here. So, okay, I guess I am seeing it here. So we got click funnels, customer center. We have, um, all my personal information right here, which will be blurred out. You got my payment methods. You have the different things that I'm enrolled in right there. And then uh, some more stuff and different courses I have purchased from them. And again, most of this will be blanked out when you see it. So that does actually bring you there. So let me back out of here and go back into R. So that's where you would set all this, what you're going to see on that page. And then down here, you can configure um, your headline. I'm not really sure where that goes to my customer center. That might have actually been what it said at the top of this page. So maybe that changes this here. That certainly could make sense. And then is there a privacy policy or anything on here? I don't see that. Maybe over here. Um, but either way, you can put in a privacy policy in a terms of service. The only other thing you can change on here is the background colors on the site. And it's a gradient that runs from top left to bottom right. So let's just change that gradient while we were here. So we'll click on the pencil. And let's just say that we want my first color to be not, not that black color. Let me see here. I want to put in a dark burgundy red color that I use on a lot of stuff. So we're going to save that. And then here now we're going to put in a black color. We're going to save that. We're going to update our customer center. We got an error, but let me see if it changed anything in here. Let's try reloading that again. Didn't like that. Let's see if we come back out. And we'll come back in here. And it did not save anything I did. So let's do this one more time. If it doesn't work, you'll be able to figure it out on your own. You're pretty smart. So we'll save that. We'll update the customer center. And okay, it didn't crash this time. Oh, and you see the preview of it right here now. So earlier it was showing us a preview of the customer center page, now showing us a picture of the customer login page. So that I think is it for setting up your customer center and your customer login page. And if and when they come out with that actual real membership login page, like the access page in uh, 1.0, I will definitely shoot a video and include it underneath this section right here. So until then, if you got any questions, just let me know.